There is so much crazy shit that has been going on this month in gaming that it is wild. And I mean wild. We have companies like Xbox, EA, Sony, and all kinds of other companies doing the craziest shit imaginable. Helldivers force players to log in with the PSN account. You have EA who is proud to announce that they're pushing forward on the effort to make AI more prevalent in their games. Woo! Suck my big dick. Now, we have Xbox who is jumping in on the train and and firing for game studios but we have a response no one other than sarah bond herself the president of xbox coming in and responding with the most illiterate brain dead cock sucking pussy licking ass fucking shit i've ever heard in my life here's a clip from the interview with bloomberg studios and sarah bond on why she thought that they felt it was acceptable to fire tango gameworks which is the company who is behind hi-fi rush one of xbox's most prevalent and prominent releases of recent that was actually good they're also the studio behind evil within evil within 2 and a few other games they also released Arcane Studios, which was behind Redfall. Whoa, big surprise. They absolutely fired them because they forced them to release Redfall, which was rushed in the first place. Last year or so, in video games, largely the industry's been flat. Um, and even in 2023, we saw just some tremendous releases, um, tremendously groundbreaking games, but still the, the growth didn't follow all of that. Um, and you know, a lot of that's related to our need to bring new players in, um, make gaming more accessible, but all of that has been happening at the same time that the cost associated with making these beautiful AAA blockbuster games is going up and the time it takes to make them is going up you don't fucking say of course stuff that gets better stuff that you want to improve is going to take longer and cost more to make that is like going to a steakhouse and saying hey give me your best steak and then asking why it's so expensive it is the stupidest shit i've ever heard anyone say why do you think it is going to take longer and cost more to make better things it is how shit works xbox announced the shuttering of four game studios how should we how should gamers understand that move in terms of microsoft's commitment to developing innovative exclusive games yeah you know it's it's always extraordinarily hard when you have to make decisions like that um you know i'll go back to what i was saying about the industry and when we looked at those fundamental trends we feel a deep responsibility to ensure that the games we make, the devices we build, the services that we offer are there um, through moments, even when the industry isn't growing and when you're through a time of transition. And the news we announced earlier this week is, is an outcome of that. Uh, and our commitment to make sure that the business is healthy for the long term. Did you understand anything that she just responded to that question with? She said, oh, right. The four studios that we fired. We did that because we want things to be better. What the fuck are you talking about? Not a single thing that she said made any sense at all. She is answering questions with literally nothing. Everything that she is responding with is nothing. She says that she wants the devices to be there when the industry is flat. How do you plan on doing that if you are firing all of your game studios and still releasing nothing? Xbox is so shit. It has been shit for years. Our commitment to having our own studios and working with partners to have games large and small. You know, we're a platform where you can play GTA, but you can also play Power World, or you can play Call of Duty, and you can also play Pentiment. That, that doesn't change. They're on your console. One of the things that was most upsetting, both to Xbox gamers and to em employees, is that you know one of the shuttered studios in particular just created a hit game, did really well on Game Pass in, in terms of engagement, and won a ton of awards. I, shouldn't succeeding in that way ensure the future of, of a studio? You know, one of the things I really love about the games industry is it's a creative art form. 
And it means that the situation and what success is for each game and studio is also really unique. Like there's no one size fits all to it for us. Um, and so we look at each studio, each game team, and we look at a whole variety of factors when we're faced with sort of making decisions and, and trade-offs like that. Uh, but it all comes back to our long-term commitment to the games we create, the devices we build, the services, and ensuring that we're setting ourselves up to be able to deliver on those promises. What are you saying, Miss Bond, Miss Sarah Bond? You didn't answer the question. You would have been better off walking off stage, making a plate of tacos, coming back, whipping your tits out, and saying, woo, than what you just answered with. She asked, why the fuck did you fire a studio that was your most successful game in the past five years? What's going on? Gears of War sucks ball sack now. You're releasing dog shit content. Why did you fire the makers of Hi-Fi Rush? Shouldn't that give them a little bit of leeway when it comes to making stuff? You have 500,000 other shitty studios. Why fire the only ones that are making good games? Well, you know, that shit doesn't matter for us. We want to ensure the future for Xbox. We don't give a fuck about studios. Earlier this year, Xbox announced for the first time that it was bringing a, a slate of Xbox developed games, Xbox exclusive games, to rival platforms, to Sony's PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. Uh, that obviously was a big change. It was a little bit unsettling for some of the Xbox hardware fans, but how is it going so far? Do you have any data about how the games are doing? Just do PlayStation gamers really want to play Sea of Thieves? <laughs> you know, it's early days uh, yet, so I don't have specific data to share, but, we're, but we are really encouraged by the reception um, of our games. And one thing that I, you know, I think it's important to note is, you know, as Xbox, we've been putting games on other platforms for a long time. Minecraft is available pretty much universally. Because you didn't create Minecraft. Yes, you had enough money to purchase them. In my opinion, you made the game worse. In my opinion. Maybe you guys enjoy it now. I think it fucking sucks ball sack and asshole and hairy cream corn dick balls. But me personally, you did not make Minecraft. It may be an Xbox game studios game or a Microsoft game, but that is why it's on other platforms. Because so many people had Minecraft that you could not take it away from them. That would be illegal. You saw what happened to Rocket League when they tried to remove it from Steam. When Epic bought them, you can't do that. It doesn't work. It's illegal. So much stupid shit going on in the gaming industry right now. And I think that Sarah Bond is a great, a great example of how delusional the corpo industry is when it comes to gaming and how lost their mindset is she did not answer a single question with a proper answer why did you fire the team behind hi-fi rush well we want to make things better why are you getting rid of all your exclusives and letting other consoles play them well we want other consoles to be able to play our games too so we can get more money nothing was answered properly the industry is shit i love you guys fuck you peace